not easy being me We'll wash your face and brush your hair We'll nag, 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 it's just not fair I'm Horrid Henry So down with school, I'm gonna rule And when I'm king, I'll do my thing And then my life will be so sweet I'm Horrid Henry Na, 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 na The purple hand gang rules, okay Well, it's so easy being me I'm Horrid Henry It's your turn Yours? Yours! I did it last year Are you sure? Oh, do you think I would ever forget? Tomorrow is take your kid to work day And neither of them want to take a worm like you Mum, Henry says that you and Dad don't want to take me to work Don't be horrid, Henry And take these into the kitchen and leave your poor brother alone <gasps> The best thing about take your kid to work day is you get a day off school The worst thing is that Mum and Dad have really boring jobs Why couldn't Mum be a famous scientist? Henry, you're coming to work with me tomorrow and I want you to be on your best behaviour. Great! Can I play computer games and surf the net and play computer games? Henry, I work for Tingly Toothbrushes. We sell toothbrushes and toothpaste. You'll be filing and photocopying. No way! And if you're lucky, you might get to pack toothpaste tubes into boxes. Not me! I'm not going! Of course you're going. It'll do you good to see what it's like to work. I don't want to go to work! I think Dad's really going to like having me going to work with him. No better than having Stinky Peter. Really, really fine. Henry, not that one! Oh. This is not a good start, Henry. Nowhere near good. You've already been horrid and we're not even at my desk yet. But Dad, we're being cut out by firefighters! This is great! An office is a place where people come to work, not to muck about. I want perfect behaviour. My boss is very strict, so don't let me down, eh? Dad, you can count on me. Oh! Ow! You're late. Bad start. Bob knows best and late people aren't great people. Sorry, Bob, sir. I, um, hit the alarm button by accident. Dad just told a fib. Hmm. This is just like school. Henry, this is Bob, my boss. And you have to do everything he tells you. And this is Bill, his son. And you have to do what I say too. Welcome to my brush and paste empire, young Henry. We aim to have a foaming brush in every mouth in the land. So, take this day by the scruff of the neck, little laddie. Listen and learn. And one day you too could take orders from me. I'll try my best, sir, Bob, sir. I, I promise to listen and learn. I like you, young Henry. I wish more young men wanted to be like me. Tell you what, you can be my son's partner for the day. Whoa. I expect my boy Bill to take toothpaste into the future. Watch him like a hawk, Henry. My boy is the future. You heard Bob, Sir Henry. Do everything he says and everything Bill says. Yes, sir, a Bob, sir. Meeting in the boardroom in five. All hands on deck. First task, boys, make the tea, serve the tea. And remember, I could be watching you. Remember, Henry, do everything they say. Oh, we have to.
to make all these? Are you kidding? I got better things to do than listen to Dad give orders. Great! What will we do instead? You don't get it, do you? You make the tea, I watch you. No way! If you don't do what I say, my dad will fire your dad. So get making, Bucket Brain. Good. Now I order you to put this stuff in the tea. Remember, do everything he says. Well, if that's an order... Well done! Lovely tea, Bill! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Henry. <laughs> this tea's been tampered with! Who did this? It was Henry, Dad! I tried to stop him, but he wouldn't listen! To. And you said I had to do everything he told me to do. No excuses. You should keep your son under more control. You need to learn what hard work is, Henry. I want you both down in the packing department now. I'll get you for this, snot brain. No, you won't. Because my dad is a boss and there's nothing you can do about it. You'd better help or I'll quit. Dead or not, you'll get into trouble again, and you're not working fast enough. Ah, look at that. Dad hates to waste toothpaste more than anything. He's gonna be really angry. Gotcha! Don't be horrid, Henry. I tried to stop him, Dad, but he won't listen to me. <gasps> this is disgraceful behaviour, Henry. Totally unacceptable. If I was your real boss, you'd be sacked. I am so ashamed of you. He's trouble, Dad. And not the sort of person I would employ when I take over this company. I know, son. But you have to understand, some children don't have your quality upbringing. I will give you one last chance, Henry. Son, take Henry to the photocopier and show him how to copy these documents for me. And Henry... I know, Bob, sir. I have to watch Bill and learn. This snotty, snivelling snot needs to be caught doing something really, really bad. Why don't we copy something horrid and then hang the pictures all over the office? Like what? <laughs> it's a bit rude. Great idea! Me first! No, me first! I'm the boss and the boss always goes first. Of course. You know best, Bill, sir. Yes! We must convince the nation and then the entire world that a day without toothpaste is like... <laughs> uh, did I say something funny? <clears throat> no, Bob, sir. We would never laugh at you. What? One, bottom two, bottom three, bottoms four. Five, bottom six, bottom seven, bottoms more. Bill! What are you doing? Um, it was Henry. I, I don't know why he's saying that, Bob, sir. I'm afraid I told him not to, Bob, sir, but he just wouldn't listen to me, Bob, sir. Uh, sir. How dare you? You've made me a laughing stock in front of my entire company. You're not the son I thought you were. Go home. I'll deal with you later. But, Dad... No, but... I think we've had enough of those. Up 
Obviously, I was a little hasty in blaming your son. Boys will be boys, Bob, no matter the quality of their upbringing. Well, young Henry, I think for the rest of the day you can, um, amuse yourself. Yes, sir, uh, Bob, sir. Oh, right! <laughs> longer you'll stay in your room. But what if I need to go to the toilet? That's the only reason you can leave. Do you understand? <laughs> it's not fair! <laughs> I get sent to my room a lot. I get sent to my room so often I might as well live here full time. Good thing there's lots to do. <laughs> Because we want you to think about why you're being punished. Huh? And we'll have a talk about it later. What? They've even taken my CD player. I might kill a boy rat CDs. I can't live without my music. Hold on a minute. Yay! Destruction FM! I'm trapped in my room. Ask your mother. Lock him in a cage for a hundred years. Hang him upside down and set his ears. Throw him in the river with the crocodiles. Shoot him into space for a million miles. Now I'm ready to wreak my revenge. Well, as soon as they let me out of my room. Uh-oh. If they see this, I'll be stuck in here forever. Hmm. I need help. 
and fast. Oh, I'm fed up with hide and seek, Margaret. Let's do something else. My garden, my rules. Start counting. <sighs> Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Oh, Margaret, that hurt. Oh, what hurt? Whatever you hit me with. Oh, what's this? Here, let me see. Get Ralph. Urgent. Signed, Henry. What's in it for us? of the Purple Hand Gang for a whole day? Henry. What's that painty smell? Uh, that's Lady High Excellent Majesty to you, Susan. Oh, uh, Margaret's painting her playhouse. Oh, I see. Henry, have you been thinking about why we took all your things away? Yes, Mum. And you won't do it again? No, Mum. Well, in that case, I suppose you've been punished enough. You can come out of your room now. Yes! And for heaven's sake, close your bedroom window. Yes! Freedom! Oh, look! A horrible monster! Oh, it's so ugly! And you know what? He's pretty ugly too! <laughs> doing here anyway? Uh, in case you've forgotten, I'm the leader of the Purple Hand Gang today. And tomorrow. And we want to know how you're going to get your revenge on Peter. It's got to be something mega, mega spectacular. Yeah, but no one can know it was me or I'll be in even more trouble. Ha! Can't believe Peter thought this was a real alien. <laughs> Peter believes anything. La -la -la. The Earth has been invaded by aliens! Oh no! Oh no! What? from the invaders. You must paint your face and the outside of your house blue. Dumpty Dumpty Dum. Dumpty Dumpty Dum. What? <laughs> Peter! Are you responsible for this? Yes! Ha, 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 ha,
<laughs> no, the best bit was when my dad told Peter to go to his room and stay there for the very first time ever. Which means I am Rimmer! Ooh, look, Bonnie. Teacher has given you extra homework. Hooray! Knock with my foot? Where's my wrapper zapper game? How should I know? Tell me where it is, or I'll staple Bunny to the wall. Bunny! Ah! Now I'm really ah! these days. Now give me a leg up. No, you might leave me here. Bunny! Give me a leg up! Can you see Bunny? Oh, shut up about that stupid bun! You didn't get Bunny! So? This is all your fault anyway! My fault? But you were chasing me! You made me! And of course this is your fault! Everything's been your fault since the day you were born! But, but, but I was a cute baby! You were awful! And I did my best to get rid of you! with a great plan, I got into trouble. Thanks to you! But, but I had nothing to do with any of that. Of course you did. You were born. That wasn't my fault. Why am I even talking to you? I'm getting out of here. No, Henry, you can't leave me here. my way out! Oh, stupid spoon! Right! That's enough! I'm 
not. I don't like you very much, that's all. That's not true, because you saved me. Saved you? When? When I was little. You've made Peter cry again. I warned you. No, Mummy. You're bad doggy. <gasps> you saved me. You're my hero. I never saved you. I got rid of the dog because... Because... Because he was going to get Mr Kill. I shouted at it to save Mr Kill. Not you. That's not true. You... And your nose. I wouldn't have cared if. Until after your tests, so stop ringing the bell. Oh, that's not fair! Hospitals always give you yucky jelly. I want my yucky jelly! At least I'm missing school. That's fair. Go away! Henry, your mother said we could visit. How are you feeling? Depends. Did you bring homework? No. Then I'm fine. Good. We were so worried when we heard you'd been kept in hospital overnight. Weren't we, Margaret? You were. <sighs> Can we just give him the card? What card? The class made a card. Even I signed it. It says, Get well, hero. You're a hero, Henry, for saving your little brother. Everyone knows. Oh! Aren't you going to take your card, you ungrateful pig? I'd rather you got me something to eat. Uh, sorry, I don't think you're allowed food. No, you're going to have a brain scan because they're not sure if you've got one. Oh, I'm out of here. Get better soon, Henry. And uh, if your parents think you should stay home for a while, that's fine with me. <sighs> what a disaster. My reputation's ruined. Just you wait. People will start calling me Hero Henry. It's not fair! And I'm so hungry! No one cares that I'm hungry but me! So I'm gonna find some food! Don't worry, the scan is a routine one. And then you can take Henry home. Thank goodness. Henry, are you feeling better? Great! Have you got any money? Yes. Uh, no. Listen, I saved your life, right? And all I want in return is some of your money. Now. Oh, OK. But you're supposed to be in your room. We've got to take care of you. Yeah, yeah. Come on, Henry. All right. But before we go, we want to see something really interesting. Henry, the doctor said... Oh, where is he? And where's Peter? It's not easy being me. 
I want you to add these numbers, then multiply the answer by this number, then divide it by this number, then speak of the lady that Down, everyone. Maths never hurt anyone. Yuck, yuck. Beep, beep. We will be back. Hey, alien, over here. Yuck, yuck. Wibble. <laughs> you saved us. Well, someone had to get rid of the maths monster. Henry. Henry? Henry! Are you listening to me? Now, which of you deserves a brave badge? Uh, me, miss! I saved us from the maths monster! <laughs> <laughs> hmm. As I was saying, we'll find out tomorrow who is brave and who is not. Because tomorrow is... Injection Day! Injection day? No! It's only an injection. It's not like it's major surgery. Silence, worm. Don't be nervous, Henry. Ha! Nervous? Why would I be nervous? It's only an injection. That's right. It's just a few centimetres of needle jabbed into your flesh. Oh. And the winner of the gold medal for javelin is... Henry! Oh, wait. It appears we have one more contestant. Ah! Ah! And then oh. they pull the needle out and... Ah! Oh. Henry? Henry? Uh, uh. Henry, time for school. I can't go to school today, Mum. Wherever not. Well, I've got a cough. <coughs> oh, come on, Henry. You'll have to do better than that. Um, uh, the school burnt down yesterday. Oh, I didn't see any flames. Silence, worm! Don't be horrid, Henry. I can't go to school today because I I've broken my leg. Ow! Ow! Oh, the pain! Oh, poor Henry! I know it's injection day today, Henry, and you are going to school whether you like it or not. Now, let me see. B for broken leg. Just lie back and relax, Henry. I can help you. Yes, Peter. Yes, you can. <laughs> but I don't want to pretend to be you for the day. <clears throat> You'll get to play in the big boy's playground. Yes. Whoa! <clears throat> And you'll get to sit in the big boy's class. So? You'll get maths homework. Oh, oh, goodie! I love maths homework! Um, but if I'm you, won't I get your injection? Oh, yeah. Uh, I hadn't thought of that. But think of all that maths homework. This is never going to work. Of course it will. Henry? Peter? <sighs> You're right. It's never going to work. Better not leave a mark. My arms are beautiful and I want them to stay that way. You better hope she doesn't hit an artery. This causes massive blood loss, gangrene and possible amputation. That means they cut your arm off. <gasps> oh, please. It's only a pinprick. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> Only a pinprick. <laughs> oh, don't pick me. Please don't pick me. William, you're next. <laughs> Don't be silly, William. It's only an injection. Yeah, cry, baby. <coughs> There's no way I'm going to cry. Uh -uh. Not me. <coughs> I'm tough and strong. <coughs> oh, I could take anything. <coughs> Margaret, <laughs> can't wait to hear you scream. This is almost worth having an injection for. Hearing Margaret scream any moment. Now? Huh. I've never seen such a big needle. You can't frighten me. It's as long as my arm. The bigger the better. Henry. No! I don't want an injection. I want my mummy. Henry. Ooh. Oh, hi there, Nurse Needle. Uh, is it my turn now? Shall I roll up my sleeve? Thank you, Henry. But the injection will be in your other arm. The other arm? <sighs> I wish the teachers wouldn't leave their lunch lying around. seem a bit warm. Well, I can't give you this injection if you're not well. You can't? No, I can't. So how do you feel? <laughs> oh, you poor thing. You need to go home and get some rest. No injection for you today. <laughs> No injection, tea in bed, and no school tomorrow. You all right, Henry? More ice cream, please. Is it helping your sore throat? Oh, yes, it's very soothing. Of course, some chocolate sauce would really help. Well, OK, but only if the doctor says you can. Hello, Henry. I hear you're not feeling well. <coughs> Just got a <coughs> bit of a <coughs> cough. Breathe in. <gasps> Does it hurt here? Oh, yes. Very painful. And here? Oh, the pain. The pain. And what about here? Ow! I really hurts. Well, that is most unusual. Well? I'm afraid there's only one cure for what Henry's got. Of course, an injection. It's not easy being me. We'll wash your face and brush your hair. We'll nag, nag.
knack knack It's just not fair I'm horrid Henry So down with school I'm gonna rule And when I'm king I'll do my thing And then my life Will be so sweet I'm horrid Henry Na 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 nay The purple hand gang rules Okay well, It's so easy being me I'm horrid Henry This was your pocket money, Henry. Huh? But this month, you've broken two CDs, a china mug, and my toe. It was only your little toe. A toe is a toe. You have also been horrid to Peter a total of 47 times. Uh, 48? And Miss Battleaxe has written to us three times to complain that you've been naughty, lazy, and making smells on purpose. Big whiffy ones. No! You can't do that! Sit down, Henry. Peter, you've been even more perfect than usual, so your bonus is Henry's pocket money. This is so unfair! It's the third month in a row! I must have pocket money! Please, please, I beg you! Oh, please, 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 please! All right, then. But we expect excellent behaviour in return. wanted to visit Africa. You can come if you want. Nah, I miss karate killers on the Blood Channel. Wait here. Oh, a map would help too. Grizzly Grub Box, Dungeon Drink Kit, Goo Shooter, Mr Kill, Daglo Slime, uh, what else? Ah, comics. Gotta have something to read when I'm not fighting lions. Bedtime, Henry! Come on, into bed. What's all this? Um, Ralph lent me some comics. Hmm, well, don't stay up all night reading. Good night. 
from home if you must know. No, you haven't. I've run away from home. No, I have. Haven't. Have. Haven't. Have. Anyway, this is my treehouse, so go away. I can sit here if I want to. Can't. Can. Can't. Can. Ouch! Get off my leg. Shh. They'll find out we're running away. Well, don't think for a minute you're coming with me. You can't come with me either. Where are you going, anyway? Africa! Ha! Huh, yuck! Who'd want to go there? I'm going to Susan's house. <laughs> Susan's house? That's not running away. It is too. Isn't? Anyway, I slept here all night. Where did you sleep? Hey, that's my running away food! <laughs> not anymore! All right, I'm eating some of your running away food. <laughs> no toothbrush, no clothes. No food, nothing but toys. You don't know much about running away, do you? I bet you didn't even bring a map. Did too? What did you bring? Ha! Clothes? You don't need clothes in the jungle. Anyway, I thought of running away first. Didn't. Did. Hey, stop it! Oi, that was Lady Cat if you don't mind. I'm going to tell your mum where you are and then you'll be in big trouble. Your house. That's just like them. They found out I've run away and they're celebrating with pancakes. Well, huh, I'd certainly celebrate if you ran away. I'll show them. Henry, breakfast time. Henry's not in his room. What? Peter. Where's Henry? Do I have to tell you? Yes! Henry's run away. Oh, no. Henry! Henry! Where are you? You should have told us, Peter. <sighs> oh. Hope you don't mind. I invited Margaret for breakfast. But Peter said you'd run away. Peter? You mustn't tell lies. Telling lies is naughty, Peter. Oh, I'm very... 
very surprised at you, Peter. You've let us both down. I think Peter's learned his lesson. Right. Well, why don't I make some more pancakes? Oh! Uh -oh. Henry, what's all this? It's all the things that were too heavy for Henry to run away with. See? I was telling the truth all along. How could you be so horrid, Henry? This time you're in big trouble. Tomorrow, I'm really going to run away. Payback time, Henry. Uh, uh, sorry, can't stop. Uh-uh. We've got a score to settle, remember? Really? Oh! 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 Hey! <laughs> now it's your turn, Henry. Yeah, who's laughing now? I don't know. Uh-oh! Uh, Miss Battleaxe is coming this way! Oh no! Even worse! Miss Oddbog too! We're not falling for that old trick. Right, my mistake. It's only my mum. Nice try, Henry. Henry! Hurry up! <laughs> See you later! You wait till tomorrow. We'll get you for this. In your dreams, nobody catches Henry with his trousers down. Nobody! Henry, this came for you. It's from Great Aunt Greta. Yes! Dear Henrietta, you hmm? must be such a big girl by now, so I know you'd love a pair of big girl's pants. <gasps> I'm a boy! <laughs> what? You think I'd be seen dead in pants like these? Uh, no, uh, probably not. <laughs> oh, go away! Henry! <laughs> Margaret! Your mum, where's my dungeon drink kit? I want it back. Oh, uh, it's... Um... What have you got behind your back? Me? Uh, nothing. Show me! It's nothing. Ah! <laughs> your dungeon drinks kit. I knew it was somewhere. Thank you. By the way, Henry, they're going to get you tomorrow and I'll be watching. <laughs> Tomorrow is another day. <gasps> Henry! Oh. Henry! Get dressed now! No! Leave me alone! Henry, for the last time, you will be late for school! <laughs> Take away 91 plus 25. Don't forget, get you. Nah, 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 nah. You'll have to catch me first. Henry, face the front. <laughs> <laughs> For goodness sake, stop fidgeting. Have you got ants in your pants? Uh, I don't think so, Miss Battleaxe. Shall I have a look? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! I'm wearing Great Aunt Greta's underpants. What am I going to do? Uh-oh. If they catch me, I'm toast. This can't be happening. I need pants. Where can I get some pants? Cupboard. Uh, uh, please, miss, I need the toilet. <gasps> All right. Five minutes, not a second more. Oh, there must be some pants in 
Nice lot! Please! 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 Aha! Oh, these will have to do! Last week, he said my teeth are perfect. No, remember, Peter, you had a terrible toothache this morning. When? Ow! See, he's just trying to be brave. Oh, poor you, Peter. You better go. This isn't the dentist. No, this is more important. I've heard bad things about you. Well, not that I walked across the story carpet. Worse than that, embarrassing things. I've heard you wear baby pants. Baby pants? No, I don't. Look! <laughs> Daffy Daisy pants? They're the most babyish of all. If anyone finds out, you'll be laughed at. Oh, no. What can I do? Give them to me. I'll hide them until we get home. But what will I wear? These. But they're the pants Great Aunt Greta sent you. You said you wouldn't be seen dead in them. Uh, that was yesterday. Today they're cool. All the big kids wear them. I don't care. I'm not putting them on. <laughs> Henry, I know you're in there. Time is up. Miss Buzzlelax! Which is worse? No knickers or pink knickers? Henry! Come in! So, Peter tells me you're taking him to the dentist? Uh, we got lost. Nearly lunchtime. Henry, see you outside. I need the yellow. Get your own. Give it here. <laughs> Margaret, you can stay in at lunchtime. Oh, this is all our fault. Yeah, lunchtime. Stay in. Great idea. Henry, did you do that? Yes, miss. Uh, shall I stay in at lunchtime? It wasn't Henry, miss. It was me. And me? Yes? You too, Bert? I don't know. Oh, get out! The lot of you! I've had enough! Office now. Na, 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 na. Nearly home time. I knew they'd never catch me. Books away now. Get changed for the games. Games? It's not games today. <laughs> it's always games on Tuesday. No, it can't be. And Henry, 
I don't care if aliens ate your pee kit. No excuses. <laughs> yes, Henry, no excuses. Oh, no? I've got the perfect excuse. What? No? Oh, oh, you've forgotten your underpants, have you, Henry? <laughs> <laughs> Quiet. Well, Henry, this is your lucky day. Look what I found in the boys' toilets. Huh? You can wear these. <laughs> <laughs> you've done all your chores. We'll see. Yay! When parents say we'll see, they always mean yes. Ooh, I love doing my chores. Worm. Come on, Henry. The sooner you get started, the sooner you'll be finished. Oh, all right. What do I have to do? Well, you can start by cleaning out your hamster. <laughs> Remember me? <laughs> Come on, Fang, climb inside. <laughs> All right. Come on, little Fangy Fangy. Who's a pretty boy then? Little Fangy, little Fangy, I love you, I love you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Henry, what are you doing? Nothing! Is going on here? Fang's being horrid to Fluffy. That's not true. <laughs> Put Fang away now, Henry. You haven't got time to play with him. Oh, look at your room. It's even more of a mess than usual. Oh, you can tidy it later. Can you empty all the rubbish bins now, please? Oh, come on, Fang. Time to go back. <laughs> When I'm king, only parents will have to do chores. I'm 
going to tell. You don't have to. Mum! <gasps> Bins? Yes. Can I go to Ralph's now? Oh, we've only just started, Henry. Dad wants you to help him wash the car. Oh! It's for you! Henry, I'll be back in a minute. Make sure you wash the windows too. What? That'll take forever! Speed things up a bit. Henry, what are you up to? Uh, nothing, Dad. I finished cleaning the car. Can I go to Ralph's now? No, Mum wants you upstairs. Now! Right. I want you to take the laundry down to the basement. Oh, my arms are aching! They're going to drop off! Don't be ridiculous, Henry. And don't forget to separate the whites from the colours. I'm going to tell. Mum! <laughs> Who cares what colours they are? Henry! Did you do what I said? Yes, it's all sorted. Good. Then you can tidy your room now. This is torture! <laughs> Can't I tidy my room later? I want to go to Ralph's. Not until you've finished. Empty the bins, wash the car, do the laundry. I'm just your slave. And pick up your socks. They're all over the floor. That's where I keep them. And don't forget to hoover, Henry. <laughs> <laughs>
go to Ralph's, so you're going. But not like this! <laughs> oh, nonsense! I'm sure Ralph doesn't mind what you wear. 